Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I'm gonna to share with you my latest haul from White House Black Market. It is a store I have shopped at for years. I love their items, uh, great for workwear, and of course dressing up or making more casual. So today I have a pretty good uh, haul. I think I have four or five pants in here and a couple blazers. So if you're interested to see what I picked out, how it fits on me and my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. All right, so uh, this haul is going to include, I think, uh, six pants and three blazers. These uh, styles are going to feature a couple of wide leg and a couple of straight leg ankle. So the ankle pant is another pant that I have don't have in my collection and a pant that I've had an issue with. <laughs> So I am not a fan of the cropped pant. The whole cropped pant phase that's been going on for a few years um, just never appealed to me. It, it looks way too casual and I like my items to be able to be dressed up or dressed down. That being said, I still like a pair or two uh, that I can wear more casually. So not necessarily to work, but um, just on a day-to-day -day basis, I haven't found one that I like. So usually they're kind of they feel kind of baggier on the top because I am bigger in the midsection, and then I have like thinner or regular <laughs> sized legs. Um, that's a hard style for me to do. But a wide leg is great because you can just get it fitted on the top, and it just flows down. And so it's just so easy and classic, and and looks good. So I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get into the try on. All right, first up, I have two pairs of black trousers that I purchased. Um, the first one is going to be the Comfort Stretch Classic Slim Ankle Pant. So I am uh, looking for an ankle pant and I do like uh, Black House White Market because they do put some stretch in their clothes and I love, well, not that it matters, but I am generally a size six at White House Black Market. It's the only store where my size is smaller. Not that that matters. It's just weird. So generally every other store, um, I'm usually a 10. So that, that's the most common, but sometimes an eight, sometimes a 12. Nowhere am I a six except White House Black Market. So it is what it is. So uh, these uh, look like they may work out. So, oh, and I did get it in a long because I do have longer legs, I'm 5'8". So can't wait to try these ones on. All right, first up, I tried on the L Slim Fit ankle pant or ankle trouser in a six long. It, uh, the regular price was $99 and it was on sale for $69.78, so 70 bucks, so a little bit of a discount there. Um, and it's too tight for me, so I would definitely need to size up. And for me, this length is too short, so it doesn't go long enough uh, for me. Uh, I would say it, it is near my ankle, above my ankle. And again, that's just, it's just a weird thing that bugs me. I, I just prefer a longer pant. I, I don't like, um, you know, it looking like it's too short. Uh, I just think that kind of like chops your leg and it goes against everything that I've done <laughs> styled for the last, you know, 20 years. I've always liked long pants. And really when I was little, I actually had pants that were too short because, uh, well, growing up, I didn't have the internet and I didn't know about long pants. I, I don't even, I don't even know if they made them back then, but I remember when I was a teenager later, um, maybe 16, 17, 18, I found long at the gap and I thought that was just the best thing ever. It was the first time that I could find jeans that were long enough for my legs, but all before that, I didn't have pants that would fit me. So I th I'm probably a little traumatized from that. <laughs> But um, also, you know, unless you're like really thin, they, they, they're just not the most flattering, really, um, in my opinion. So um, anyway, these are um, okay, but uh, I would need to 
to size up. So um, the the pockets are pulling. It does fit. It, it fits snug though. And, and again, the ankle is just a little bit long. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or exchange them. And the second trouser that I picked up is the Luna wide leg trouser in a six long. And it's just basically a, a basic uh, wide leg trouser. It does have uh, the hook closure, pretty common for slacks or trousers. And um, it does have pockets, which I love. And it's the side slotted pockets, which are my favorite. I don't like the, I don't prefer the, what is it called? I'm going blank, but you know, the little slit ones at the top. Uh, so yeah, just a classic trouser and I expect this to fit, so I hope it does. And now for the Luna wide leg trouser in black that I got in a six long and it's normally 110 was on sale for $77. Um, I loved this one. I think the fit is great. It, uh, it is a little more fitted um, around the waistline, which I like for kind of a dressier trouser. Um, my linen trousers, I prefer to be a little more relaxed and looser. So um those being a little bit bigger and then belting i prefer but for a you know mainly work trouser um or you know it could be dressed up too so for an event a dinner a luncheon something like that uh, i do prefer a little more fitted so it is snug and uh, the length is great though so i can wear this one with my flats which i love as well as my heels. And for me, I only wear a two inch heel, so uh, I don't even need that much of a difference. And I love a shoe skimming trouser. That to me just looks good. I think just the end of the shoe should peep out. I'm not, again, I'm not a fan of too short, like high water in any way kind of pants in any style for, for really any occasion. So. Um, I keep trying to venture out and find some that uh, are flattering, but I, I have not done that yet. If I'm going to wear something shorter, it's just going to be a skirt or a dress because at least there's a lot more movement in that. Um, I think just a pant that's too short and especially one in black just isn't very flattering. So um, this wide leg trouser uh, I love. I think it's perfect. It is something that I can utilize in my closet and style many different ways for many different occasions. And so I think this is a classic, timeless uh, piece. I like the flowiness of it, um, the versatility. So this one is a yes for me. And then I picked up another uh, Luna wide leg in this biscotti color. I kept looking at this uh, suited outfit. Oh, this feels beautiful. Uh, I kept looking at this suited outfit uh, that they had on, on their site. So I did get the matching blazer as well. And um, we will see how it fits. It looks a tad see-through, but it is a, you know, kind of a, I would call, it's a light beige. Um, so anyway, it looks like a beautiful pant. Can't wait to try this one on. So this one is the Luna wide leg in biscotti. So the same as the second pair of pants, uh, same style, but just a different color. And this is why I like to try on all of the pants, even in different colors. So if you love buying things in multiple sizes, I would say try, try everything on always because, um, so they're both a six long, um, same price, I think 110, both on sale for 78. Um, so the black was more fitted, but is more forgiving. Um, so you can wear a tighter fit in black and I like to do that. It is black is slimming and forgiving. So, you know, any thing, you know, any tuck in, uh, bulging or buttons or this or that you, you can't notice as easily. Um, whereas when I tried the biscotti, which is really like a light beige color, uh, beautiful color. I love the color. Um, 
you can see everything through. So I wouldn't say it's a see-through pant. Um, I would just say that uh, <laughs> it, it is a thinner material, which I love. It does give it that movement, that beautiful movement, which I think always looks great, either casual or professionally. But um, you can see, I could see the stripes of my shirt through it. I could see the button outlines through it. Um, so those are all things I can get around, but um, it, it just doesn't look good in a six. So I would need to size up in this one, which I would like uh, anyway, because I think that'll make it look a little more casual anyway. So um, overall fits the same uh, lengthwise as the black pants. So I can wear it with my flats or with my heels, which I love and uh, overall a good one. So I think uh, because I love this color so much and it is hard to find non-sheer <laughs> light colors, uh, I'll probably just exchange it for one size up. And then uh, next up, I got the Comfort Stretch Curvy Slim. So that's probably gonna be too big because um, Curvy usually doesn't fit me but they were probably out of my size in the regular. So sometimes I'll try curvy. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, this doesn't have uh, pockets, which I don't like. It, it has like one little zipper pocket here. It looks like it does have back pockets and this looks see-through. It is a thicker uh, material. It feels kind of linen-ish, a more I mean, it is a, a slim trouser, but again, this style just comes off casual to me. So, I mean, picking up this pant, it looks like a casual, casual pant to me. Like you could wear with some loafers and, you know, a tee and go shopping. <laughs> so this one is the L Curvy Fit, six long and trouser, and uh, I love it. I think I found my ankle length pant, fitted pant. Um, the material is a bit thinner, so when I wore it with the striped shirt, it um, you could see through it. So I would have to figure that out a little bit. Um, maybe blouse it up more so it hangs over more, especially in the back. And you know, I just tucked it and did it real quick. But I love these pants because they so. <laughs> Even though they go past my ankle, to me, this is a, an ankle pant. Like it's just a fitted pant all the way to my ankle area, but really I actually like it to hit my foot. So this is the perfect length for me. I thought the curvy would not work, but it gives me just enough extra room. So whereas the black one was not curvy, uh, it was a little more snug and I was thinking I needed to size up, but uh, this is the exact same one same size, but in curvy, and I love the fit. So um, very comfortable. It is a thicker material, which is good since it is a lighter color. It still is see-through. I love that I can wear them with my slide loafers. I can wear them with my regular loafers. I could wear them with sandals, heels. Um, so the material makes it seem like uh, I could just see how I could dress it up or dress it down. And of course I love, you know, the e-crew color. So for me, these ones are a total yes, because this has been a pant that has been just so difficult for me to find. And even in the unboxing, um, you know, I have my preconceived notions of what is going to fit and what is not. And that is why, you know, I like ordering online because if I was in the store, I would just say, oh, I know that won't fit me and I, I might not even try it on. But if I order it and it comes, I'm like, it's here, like I might as well try it on. And then I end up loving it. So you never know, try them on. You got to keep trying on and that is how you find the best pieces. I have been surprised so many times. I, you know, I still like to make my opinion you know, I, I have my opinion, throw my two cents out there on what I think. And, but I am, you know, more than happy to be proven wrong. So, uh, these pants, uh, prove that I can find an ankle pant that I like. And so six curvy long, a hundred dollars on sale for 70. Uh, great, great find. 
And then the final pant that I picked up because I love white in the spring and summer, already holding these up, they look way too see-through, which I am just not gonna deal with. And this is a six long mid-rise uh, straight crop pret a petty. So it is a pop pretty popular style that they sell. And I like the features, I like the belt loops, I like the um, little tabs here, I like the pockets, and it, it, it might be too cropped, um, but you know, I haven't tried this style on, so I just wanted to try a casual, kind of different kind of pant, and I'll let you know of my thoughts on this. Next up are the white uh, mid-rise pret a petty crop pant. Um, I know I said I don't like short pants, and I but I still try them all the time. <laughs> and this pant did not change my mind. It just proved me right um, because it fits fine. Um, it actually, when I held it up uh, out of the box, it was see-through in front of the window, but against your skin with nude or skin-colored underwear on i don't think it's see-through it it everything was fine about it um i don't particularly like the seam up the knee so when i was moving around it kind of like rubs on my knee which the, I, I don't know that kind of bugged me but um the shortness i just don't know where i'd wear it to <laughs> so if you like this style this is a good option um but it just is a uh, high water looking pants, um, you know, and I used to wear, what was it, capris a long time ago. <laughs> so I did go through that phase. I have been there, have done it. But I think as my like style evolved over the years, I just was, I just like came to realize how it just is not flattering. And, and I seemed to wear it more when I was bigger. So when my kids were littler and you know, I was bigger <laughs> uh, size. I didn't think about fashion too much. I would always still shop at these same kind of stores, but I didn't care about fits and colors and patterns and um, just the overall like silhouette and, and look as much as I have uh, in the last like 10 years, really the last five years, even more so. So the older I get, <laughs> Um, I just pay attention to it more and I've, I've shopped at the same store. So a lot of the stores that I've shopped at always, um, I still shop at, I still go to express. I still go to white house, black market. I still go to banana Republic, Abercrombie. Those are stores I have shopped at since I was 20, um, and heavier and lighter at different stores and over uh, different seasons because they have changed their styles. But um, a lot of times those big box stores will have like the current trend. So, you know, people around me have always thought that I've been trendy or uh, stylish because, you know, I've shopped at those stores. And so I would always have, you know, um, updated colors and cuts and looks, but that isn't the best way to do things um, for all the time. So the ladies that I would admire in my life that always look classy and, and elegant, uh, I never thought of them as trendy. Um, I just was, I would just say, gosh, why does she always just look good? Like <laughs> her outfits are just always so beautiful. And I think that just, you know, finding your style and picking items that look good on you um, is most important. So for me, the cropped pant, the capri pants, the high water pants, whatever it is called, um, it, it just isn't flattering on me. Um, and so I'll still keep trying it out though because I, you never know. <laughs> People can change their mind, but um, if I am wanting a shorter style item i will just straight wear shorts or a skirt or a dress and i just think that looks more beautiful oh and i wanted to mention for the cropped pre a petty pant also the top uh tab has two snap snap buttons so i know some people don't 
truss snaps. <laughs> so it does have that. Uh, and it has pretty good uh, pockets. I actually like the pockets. I like the top. If they made this in um, the L uh, version, like longer, I like the whole top part. So um, I, I just don't like the short pants. Uh, next up, I'm going to try on the blazers and uh, give you my review on those. But real quick, because I've worn them a few times throughout the video, I just wanted to share these loafers with everybody. They're actually created by an orthopedic doctor um, in Australia. So I was looking for this color um, loafers and these popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, those are perfect because I love point toe. Uh, I'm already tall, but I always like looking taller anyway. Um, you know, I don't like to shorten myself. So, uh, I, anyway, I like the point toe, so that's great. And these are, uh, croc embossed on the top leather, little tiny heel, but, uh, they have really comfortable, um, soles inside. So these are just a really stylish but comfy loafer. Um, these are probably my most worn loafers and I love camel, this camel color anyway. So these were just the best find uh, shoe wise that I found this year. So again, they are from a company in Australia, Frankie 4, and I'll link the information below if you're interested but I definitely recommend if you're looking for a leather comfortable shoe. Next up, I'm going to try on and review the three blazers for you. And I have uh, strong opinions on them. And although they all look pretty similar, they are all very different. So let's start with the uh, relaxed blazer uh, in Biscotti. So that is this one. Um, so this one is in a size eight. The price tag on there says 185. It was on sale for 130. Um, I like, let me start out with the things that I like about this blazer. Um, I like that it has a light sh shoulder pad because I do like some structure, but I don't like a real hefty uh, shoulder pad. It, um, my uh, upper area, uh, my shoulders are broad, um, I'm bigger busted, and a big shoulder pad just makes me look linebackerish. It just like, it just doesn't look good. So if you are small or petite, I know that, uh, that you ladies need uh, or like that for structure and to add bulk. Um, so if you're, you know, average size or larger, I would say skip a big heavy um, shoulder pad because it just makes you look bigger. Um, so this does have a light shoulder pad, which I like, and um, I like the color. Um, I don't love the material. It just, I don't know if it's the color. It, it just doesn't feel nice. It doesn't, it, it just feels kind of cheap. Um, it is lined and it doesn't have buttons at all anywhere. So pretty plain, um, maybe in a larger size for a relaxed fit, this could work. So, um, for me, this style, this cut, um, I just did not enjoy it and it certainly doesn't look the same on me as it does on, on the model, <laughs> which nothing does usually anyway, but I can't, uh, I, I don't like this one. So for me, this one is a no. All right. Next up, I have the editor blazer in a size 10. So the Biscotti first one was in an eight. This is in a 10. Um, it is their editor blazer. It has this weird flap here, which I don't know about. I'm, it looks like it's just held down for shipping and you're supposed to open it up, but I don't know why I'd want that flap flapping around. Um, so I don't like that and the shoulder pads are terrible. I laughed when I put it on. I mean, it, it 
this is exactly the kind of shoulder pad I do not like. Um, I had recently got a couple blazers from Zara and I actually like the blazers, but they had this kind of shoulder pad in them as well. And I just don't like that. And I know you could take them out, but then I'm not going to, and then replace them. I'm not doing all that. So if it's just, you know, the way it is, I mean, this is a significant, it, it can't even sit on the hanger, right? It's, it's a big shoulder pad. Um, so Mm, nope, not for me. Has a little handkerchief <laughs> holder there. It is lined. So this style, it, it's just not for me. So this one was originally uh, $220 and it was on sale for $155. So this one is a big no for me. It does have, it must be made of cotton because it has that like cotton linen finish on the shell at least. So it is a beautiful color, but so if you do like a big shoulder pad uh, blazer and you um, need this color, then this is an option. It does have plain uh, buttons there and one button closure down here. So, this one is not for me. All right, and real quick, ladies, if you're interested in my outfit of the day, I'll uh, put that insert right here. And and I'm just wearing a striped uh, button-up top from Banana Republic. My black linen trousers are from Zara and my closed toed shoes are from Zara. I have an old, um, just black structured uh, coach purse that I've had for some time. And I think this is a great uh, polish look. All right, that was my White House Black Market haul. I hope that you enjoyed the try on and review and it helped you out. If uh, there's any information that I forgot to put in or didn't consider putting in, I would sure love some feedback on that information in the comments below. I am a newer uh, creator on YouTube and I am loving sharing uh, my hauls and style ideas with you guys. So thank you so much for dropping in. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I have many more ideas on the way. And again, thanks so much. Uh, have a great day.